So here we have a heading that's getting cut off. And one thing we could try doing is on our mobile breakpoint, switching this to a viewport width font size so that it scales. But that's forcing us to make the heading larger here than we actually want it to be. And what happens if the user actually increases their font size on a higher breakpoint? We could run into the same issue of this getting cut off again. So on desktop, let's select the div that holds our heading and under custom properties, we'll give it a container dash type with a value of inline dash size. Then let's select the heading inside and for its font size, we need to figure out the max we'd ever want this font size to be. In my case, it's 18 container query width, so it doesn't go over the edge of its parent. So then we can pass in min and it compares two values and it uses whichever one is smaller. So it's comparing the display font size to 18 container query width. By default, the display font size is smaller, so that's what it'll use. But if the display font size ever starts to exceed this container, then this value becomes smaller and it'll use the CQW value instead. So what we'll notice is that even on our larger uh, version of the small mobile breakpoint, we're using the display font size. But as soon as the display starts to exceed the container, it reverts to the container query width version. And that means on any breakpoint, when the user increases their font size, it'll never let this heading exceed its container.